Deploying the time keeping operation has taken time. We've been working uh, since about five years with the organizing committee. We are bringing 220 tons of equipment. It's a team of over 250 people, professionals coming from different countries, together with over 400 uh, volunteers that join us for the competition. So 650 people in total will operate this whole operation. For Vancouver, uh, we are having some certain number of new elements like for any Olympic Games. We are having a new starting gate at the ski, alpine skiing. And the particularity of this starting gate is that it can work without power because we use the energy that the skier puts in the opening of the gate to activate a generator that will give enough energy to get the contact and the pulse for the exact timing of the departure. We will use GPS in uh, cross-country competitions so that we take the position of each competitor five times per second. And knowing this, you can easily calculate the speed, the difference of distance or difference of speed between athletes, which will make the competition much more appealing and understandable for spectators and for uh, TV uh, viewers. In figure skating, we'll have a new HD video replay system because you know that it's very important that at this level of competition the judges can see without any doubt all the small details of the performance of the competitors and this is something new that we have developed along the last years. Winter is always a challenge outdoor. Uh, we did yesterday uh, the first official training in alpine skiing for men competition had 40 skiers then has been stopped our people at the stargate spent eight hours waiting in the snow outside in bad weather conditions this is a challenge but our people are trained for this all our equipment are built to go at temperature and to still work at temperatures that goes up to minus 30 degrees so we should be fine for this olympic game Ski jumping is composed of two parts, the measurement of the length of the jump itself and a certain number of scoring that are given by the judges, evaluating the quality of the flight, of the landing. For the measurement, we are using cameras that are spread along the landing area and with the image analysis system, we can find with a precision of about 20 centimeters the exact point where the jumper has touched the ground. And the results of the competition, by rules of the federation, have to be given with a precision of half a meter. So we are far under the necessary uh, precision that's uh, imposed by the rules of the International Federation.